You've probably heard of the Star of Bethlehem, but have you ever considered what could have possibly been the astronomical event behind it? Could it have been a comet? A planetary junction? A supernova? In the Bible, Matthew describes the star as follows. There came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born King of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him. It describes the birth of Jesus Christ to the Magi and sets the three wise men on their travels. The Gospel of Matthew was written around the year 85 CE, based on a variety of sources and is the only one of the four canonical Gospels to mention the star. Originally written in Greek, it was translated as astra, meaning star, but it could also refer to other celestial objects. An unusual event like a supernova would certainly be a possible candidate. Alternatively, an event with strong astrological association, like a comet, would also potentially have been noted as an event that may herald the birth of an important person. There is always the chance that an event that occurred around the time may have been attributed as a sign after the fact and written in by later authors as though it were recognised at the time. Stars do not move quickly enough for humans to appreciate them in a new location. So one interpretation is that if a star was involved, it became visible because it suddenly became much brighter, likely as a result of an exploding supernova. The earliest recorded was by Chinese astronomers in 185 CE, who described a mysterious guest star that stayed in the sky for eight months. It might not have been a supernova at all, but a nova, a temporary brightening of a white dwarf. There is about one new nova every 12 to 18 months that becomes bright enough to be visible to the naked eye. Perhaps the three wise men didn't see a single object. The interpretation of the Magi was that the conjunction was a star, although perhaps not in modern terms. And a pulse is the apparent closest approach of two objects in the sky, related to a similar event known as a conjunction, but technically a single instant. This may appear to the observer as a single point of light. There were certainly interesting planetary conjunctions in the decade or so before the canonical birth of Jesus. Some were close but not visually impressive, such as Jupiter and Saturn conjunction, or the Venus-Jupiter conjunction of 2 BCE. The most common interpretation of the star is that it was a comet because they move across the sky. Possibly it is also the directional appearance of comets, the head and the tail a bit like an arrow, that suggests something for the wise men to follow to be guided to Bethlehem. However, there is also a major problem with that as the definitive explanation. The constant spin of Earth means that any object that starts in one part of the sky will inevitably move across it over the course of a few hours. If you try and walk towards an object in the night sky, you'll be constantly changing direction over the course of the day, and it won't point at any specific place. The Earth spins on its axis and moves around the Sun to the positions of objects in the night sky shift a little bit every day. Although the planets are moving in one direction around the Sun, when the Earth catches up to them, or them to Earth, they can appear to stop still in the sky and even move backward. Instead, perhaps a more likely explanation is that they followed the sign of the star existing, not literally followed it by walking towards it. Thanks for watching IFL Science. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time.